Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes! We are back with Uncharted 4, A Thief's End on the PS4. And last episode we went from being Solid Snake straight into being Bloody Rambo. Uh, what we're doing at the moment is we are escaping this mansion courtyard and uh, getting in the car with Sully and getting out of here. We've got the new St. Dismas Cross. So uh, yeah, we're all set to go. But obviously everybody's trying to murder us at the moment. So let's get right into it. Let's get right bloody into it. I don't know if anyone's alive. Since I paused it. Oh no, there's Sully. Quick! Don't die! Don't die, Drake! I've just started recording. Please, 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 please. Oh, no, I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Odie mecum eris. In paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? Some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but. It means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming? Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. Well, come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey, hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, um, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy, all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. 
Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Ray's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kid. Happy hunting. Last chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. See you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah? Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Chapter right. The grave of Henry Avery. Not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with a massive bounty on his head, and a good place to hide. So let's have a little recap. Back when Nathan Drake was younger and he was in the Panama jail, we found the first St. Dismas cross. And that led us to the St. Dismas Cathedral. Well, that's what we thought. And Rafe is over there with Nadine's army, breaking the place up, looking for uh, whatever it is that uh, Henry Avery has left behind. Whereas Nathan Drake in the modern day has got the correct cross that we just broke open. And it in fact leads over there to the uh, graveyards and what we're going to be doing now is we are looking for the grave of Henry Avery which is hopefully the next clue or maybe even the location of the treasure so let's uh let's get right into it I'd like to do a bit of a recap one so I remember what the hell is going on so if uh, when I start recording my next video I can re-watch the video before and know what the hell is going on and also in case you guys are confused you know because you've got to keep up with quite a lot of stuff in Uncharted games a lot of story and that but uh, before we get into this, I mean, look at this. Look at this place. That is fucking gorgeous. Actually, before we do anything, I remember. Do you remember I had a little bit of an orgasm in Uncharted 2 because of the snow? How is the snow in Uncharted 4? Oh. Oh, dear. Mmm. That is, that is fucking delicious. I mean, look at the... I don't know, it's got like a right Still nice crunch to it, boy, you know. Right, Proper yeah. smooth snow, you know. Bad. It leaves a nice little uh, foot, foot, uh, footprint behind. Hi, it's really... Oh, they're fading away. What's this? That's outrageous. <laughs> Oh, that's some very nice snow, but I still think Uncharted 2 might win, actually. That is some incredible snow. I love Uncharted 2 snow. Now, I've got to be honest... I had a terrible time finding treasures in uh, in the Scotland area. So uh, I'll tell you guys, um, even though you guys might tell me that I've missed treasures, because I record in bulk, I normally make about three videos in a row. So uh, when you guys tell me locations of treasures, there's a good chance that I won't be able to go back because I would have already progressed too far to go back. So uh, thanks for the tips where the treasures are, but sometimes I actually cannot take your advice and go back. But if I can... And like you've commented on a video before I've recorded, then I will go back and grab the treasures that you guys mention. But thanks for the tips, you know. I do love collecting the uh, treasures in this game. It's one of the few games I love the collectibles in. So uh, finding them all is quite fun. And uh, if I can avoid using guides, that's always a plus. So uh, we're going to be heading off towards the uh, over there. You can sort of see the roof a little bit. We're heading off over there. So we've got quite a little bit of a trek ahead of us. Before we make it there. Oh god. More sliding. I think we need to go down over here. But uh, I was... I was That cutscene a minute ago. Sully said he's uh, that Scotland has got beautiful weather this time of year. i got to be honest with you, Sully. I live in England. I'm not too far from Scotland. And uh, Scotland never has lovely weather. It's always cold. <laughs> always dull and cold. Oh shit. It's one of these things. Now, um... Right, we're going to have to come round this way. Some of the sliding in this area in Scotland is a right pain in the ass. Because what you're going to want to do is slide across, 
but try and keep yourself as high up as you can so you can jump onto uh, the ledge. Because if you just jump here and you don't press forward, you're just going to end up falling. So you've got to try and, yeah. Make sure you press forward, otherwise you'll just end up going off the edge and dying. Is Sam here? Yep, Sam is here. In his uh, fancy jean jacket. The Sammy was making quite a few comments about uh, Samuel Drake's hair. <laughs> Giving him proper shit for his receding yeah. hairline. We need to find another way down. Hey, this should hold. Uh, good call. Okay, uh, can you hold the rope or something, Sam? Because I don't trust that tree. It looks very rotten. Let's hold L1 and slide down very carefully. There we go. What the hell is all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Look! I thought they were just by the cathedral. Oh, Get out! God damn it! Hang on a minute, look at these guys! They look like they look like proper African mercenaries, don't they? Look at the clothes they're wearing. No! Shit, if you shoot people when they throw a grenade, you can actually uh, make them drop the grenade, which is very useful. Thank you, Sam. You saved my life. Shit. Punch him. Going somewhere. What a shot. <laughs> sure thing. What a shot. It is a shame that when you play on crushing difficulty, you don't have friendly fire. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, Shoreline. Seems like they were expecting us. And like they're searching away from the cathedral. Which means we should get to that graveyard pronto. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, every time we uh, discover anything in this game, magically, the second we discover it, five seconds later, the baddies turn up. Sort of like when we discovered those uh, tombs in Uncharted 3, when we had to get those two pieces of that, like, medallion or coin, what Nathan Drake, like, oh, made did. the imprint of, or with a piece of paper. As soon as we found that second tomb, uh, Marlowe's men turned up. <laughs> it always happens in Uncharted. Or like blowing shit up in the dark. I do love them two talking to each other, but I always feel a bit awkward when I commentate because I feel like I'm talking over them. And I don't want to just sit silently, so I never know what to do. I don't think he'd go through all that trouble to hide his tracks just to put his name on a rock. But if you guys don't remember, the shoreline is Nadine's army. She's literally the boss of some, like, army that is available for hire for a uh, nice price, of course. Monks had several living quarters. Main one being by the graveyard, of course. <laughs> location, location, location. <laughs> location, oh, that's a that's a pretty good program, actually. Yeah, we we want to be careful because all this equipment they must be pretty close to the graveyard. I don't remember if there was any treasures. I don't think there is. I mean, I've probably already missed about 50,000. What do you bet? Yep. Oh, dynamite. dynamite. Delicious. Yeah, be careful with that stuff, huh? There we go. Now, I do warn you, Wolf and Wolfettes. The explosions in this game. Even if you lower the settings, are very, very loud. So they're probably going to be quite loud in my video. So uh, yeah, try not to get jump scared by explosions in this game. Because <laughs> uh, they scare the shit out of me. Especially when something happens later in the game. You just continuously get made jump. Right, now what we're going to need to do is... Uh, I'll quickly come over here. I'm sure Sam will tell you what we need to do next. Look, there's a way up through the roof. It's too high for a boost, though. That's bullshit. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah. That's bullshit, Nathan Drake. You could stand on uh, Sam's shoulders and you'd easily get up there. That's bollocks, mate. You could easily make that. We need to find something to stand on so we can climb up. But I think we I think we have to blow up a few doors before we can do it. Where is it? Let's quickly blow this up because I know we need to blow up some doors. Take that door. <laughs> ah, here we go. I've blown a lot of shit up over the years. 
That is true. You're pretty much Yosemite Sam. Hey, we can use this to climb out of that building. I suppose he gathers that because why else would you be pushing this? Was there a treasure here? No, there's a lot of radios and phones and shit. I'm not shot. I keep hearing explosions because Rafe and Nadine's army, they're over at the cathedral blowing up holes and stuff. Because instead of picking up a pickaxe, you know, and carefully digging around looking for clues and finding, you know, where the uh, Henry Avery stuff might be. Uh oh. Oh shit. I don't... Oh damn, where'd this lot come from? God, these guys are ninjas. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I meant to like hang on the edge so I could like grab him when he went past. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm the worst solid snake in the world. I threw a dynamite down there. So cover your ears, Wolf and Wolf X. I'm dead. 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 Shit. Okay, right. It's probably good that I died because I was not expecting them to be there for some reason. Right, so, uh... That's what I wanted to do. See... No, oh, I guess we're not allowed to do that. I think we're going to go up here, actually. This might be a little bit of a wiser move. Sam... You are literally the worst. Where the hell are they all? I don't even know how the hell they got above me. Where the hell did they all come from? I guess they just spawn when you like aggro the enemies. I can't, I'm scared. Right, I'm absolutely terrified right now, you know. Please stop throwing grenades at me. I'm dead. Ah! Oh, fuck it! Absolute bollocks! Oh, I see. Look at that dude in the back. What's he playing at? You can't stand anywhere in this game without ending up dead nearly. Oh, tits! Tit! I'm not doing too well at the moment. I'm sorry, Wolf and Wolf X. I need to end the video now. Fuck it. Right, we're going to get somewhere safe. Where we have a commanding view. Where they can't sneak up on me so fucking easily. And then we're going to continue this next time. I do apologise, Wolf of X. I don't like to die. And then uh, end the video, but I have to. So uh, thanks for watching, Wolf of Wolf X. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll pick this up next time. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!